Hello, 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 humanity. Uh, trying to keep in touch with, uh, keep in step with my uh, humanity. I'm not uh, doing my best, but uh, nevertheless, I, uh, nevertheless, I'm here. Uh, it is absolutely gorgeous uh, out there, humanity. I'm going to go uh, uh, real fast. Uh, I wanted to uh, uh, tell you about this uh, particular dish that uh, uh, I've made. And you know, humanity, I'm trying to come as often as possible because I don't want us uh, to get bored because you remember what, it, what I uh, I gave you my testimony of what it was like for me uh, in that recliner for 16, 17 hours and not being able to help myself uh, before I uh, came across the... Uh, um, uh, uh, lifestyle uh, uh, eating. Well, anyway, needless to say, I have really, really, really had my reckless days. But you know, it's ironic enough, uh, humanity, when I changed my mind as it related to uh, uh, food and uh, how I could have a better existence, you know, uh, it has been nonetheless uh, different for me. Um, uh, my relationship with food uh, as opposed to the way it has been the majority of my life. Never, uh, like I told you, never in my wildest dreams that I think that I could take a thing full of vegetables, which this uh, particular recipe that I want to give you today, it's comprised of nothing um, uh, but uh, mostly uh, vegetables. I never thought I could find uh, satiety, satisfaction with uh, eating uh, just vegetables or taking, uh, making uh, burgers and, you know, letting that consist of cauliflower or walnuts or uh, uh, chickpeas or pecans, just never in my wildest dream. And uh, those vegetables and various uh, nuts and what have you, and nut flowers or various flowers, uh, uh, there nothing. There's nothing new. The only thing that changed was my mind. But I have had a horrendous uh, uh, thing with this uh, uh, um, uh, recklessness, just eating anything. I'm uh, really, really uh, struggling as it relates to the meal prep because what happens is, you know, I still find myself, uh, you know, when I get uh, hungry, I'll just eat anything. And if I had enough, because I really do most of the time, I prefer. Uh, eating, uh, you know, uh, my meal prep, but I just don't have it on hand. But anyway, with that being said, uh, humanity, you know, I gave you uh, the last recipe. I gave it to you. It was uh, comprised of a lot of vegetables, you know, spinach, uh, carrots, and what have you. So I ran out of uh, uh, a lot of my carrots and what have you. So yesterday, and it was delicious humanity. I didn't. I had very few carrots, but what I did, I overcompensated. I mean, I compensated for it with broccoli and uh, uh, for the carrots. So I still went in with the same uh, recipe: um, uh, one cup of uh, washed and chopped spinach, uh, a fourth of a cup of carrots. I had very few carrots. I usually like to add more uh, carrots to this particular recipe. And you know, you can do a variation uh, with the recipe, uh, humanity, in terms of the in terms of the formation. You can form it into, uh, you know, like a fish, a uh, fish stick, uh, uh, type, uh, uh, thing, or you can also, uh, add a little bit more flour and you can literally just make burgers out of it. And it's just chalked with just, uh, I mean, it's just, just overloaded with, uh, uh, um, vegetables. So anyway, I did the, uh, one, uh, one cup of wash and chopped, uh, washed and chopped, uh, spinach, one fourth cup of carrots. I generally like a half a cup of carrots, but I didn't have it. And so uh, then I did uh, one cup of uh, one cup of uh, uh, broccoli, uh, maybe about a tablespoon of celery. I did uh, um, one particular be a whole bell pepper. You can do any color uh, that you want. It really gives it a lot of flavor. And then uh, you know, washed and chopped, of course. You know, you know, take the uh, seeds out. And then I did. Uh, I put in. Um, what else? Oh, uh, half of uh, half of a cup of onions, and uh, then I put in uh, two tablespoons wing sauce. And remember, pay attention to the uh, the temperature of that wing sauce, because uh, a lot of those uh, wing sauces they're pretty hot. So if you can't take hot food, uh, you know maybe just you know uh, just let that be, because it is optional. You don't have to use it. And so then I uh, put in uh, one, uh, maybe about a half of a teaspoon of salt. I put in uh, uh, a cup of almond flour and I also put in one of the uh, spinach uh, packets uh, you know you can get them anywhere you know where you make a, a spinach dip but you'll use that for your seasoning and I didn't use a whole packet I used maybe about a half of a packet and then uh, what uh, the clincher was uh, oh and I used um, 
uh, maybe about a half of, uh, not even a half, maybe about a fourth, a fourth of a box of uh, uh, cream cheese. And uh, you can use plant-based, uh, any kind of, uh, you know, be it sour cream or whatever, you know, just because you just want that moisture. And uh, remember, I used one cup of uh, almond flour. And then I used that coating, you know, like the shake and bake. Uh, uh, they have uh, various healthy seasoning uh, coatings. And I, uh, after I stirred everything together, I uh, put the uh, coating right on top, and then I had, uh, I didn't have plant-based cheese, but I had uh, some cheese, and I put just a little cheese right on top, be it mozzarella, Colby, you know, it's optional. And remember, uh, humanity, nothing's changed. The personalization and the customization is key uh, uh, to you being satisfied. And uh, I baked that uh, in a casserole dish. I baked it for uh, maybe, I want to say, maybe about 12, 15 minutes. You, you can even do 20 minutes because uh, it may be still, uh, for some, it may be just a little bit too uh, liquidy so if that's what you're trying to do you want a more drier uh, casserole just let it stay in a little bit longer but anyway with that being said uh, humanity uh, uh, remember uh, you know we're trying to uh, we're still trying to get as much sugar and salt out uh, as possible but most importantly we want that variety because the last thing we want to do uh, we don't want to get bored we, we don't want to go back uh, you know even if we have a lot of reckless days you know we can come away from a reckless day or even a reckless month if the uh, mindset, if the mentality has been changed, but uh, if we go completely back and uh, just turn our back on the uh, lifestyle, you know, who's to say if we'll ever get back? So anyway, uh, with that being said, uh, humanity, uh, I know there's a lot of you uh, uh, that uh, are having a good day. Some of you are having your day interrupted by the uh, undesirables, but humanity, it is absolutely gorgeous out. And I hope wherever you are that you're enjoying uh, the weather and the burdens and the... Um, just the uh, sadness and depression and just, you know, just the harshness of life. I hope that it's uh, not uh, uh, in your life that uh, just like the uh, the uh, absolute splendor of the uh, day of looking at the trees. No, I'm not going to give you the tree report, but uh, it really is. It's gorgeous outside, and I, I couldn't help uh, as I looked at the trees, uh, hoping that, uh, you know, your day was uh, wonderful. But with that being said, uh, humanity, I, I'm not, uh, you know, uh, uh, completely uh, dismissive of the fact that uh, a lot of you, uh, you know, along with your brothers and sisters that are on the side of you, behind you, uh, in front of you, and needless to say, uh, the over 7 billion uh, that are coexisting with you in one, uh, at one address on earth. I know, I know, I know. Uh, oh, lady, when are you going to realize that uh, uh, there are a lot of your brothers and sisters that don't feel that way that's okay we'll loan them some of ours until they come around uh but anyway with that being said uh, humanity uh, you know i know some of you are ha having some challenges uh today or maybe had some challenges yesterday i most certainly did yesterday oh my uh but uh, i wanted to talk to you about sight and sound you know uh your sight can uh, you know sometimes it can be kind of confusing you know you can have a struggle that's so devastating and then it catches you off guard. You didn't see it. You know, it uh, wasn't in your purview. You know, you had no idea. And it just, you know, just blindsided you. But uh, at the end of the day, I wonder if we can have the sound uh, acknowledgement at all times and let that be a part of our mentality that you're still standing, humanity. And I know that's redundant, but at the end of the day, it takes something to still stand. There's some of you, I keep saying it over and over and over again, life has been so hard and so harsh to you that there are things that you're going to take to your grave with you. But yet, there's something within you that allowed you to withstand that. And uh, I just have a funny feeling that uh, whatever that thing is that lets you withstand, that that whatever this thing is now that's pulling at you and and tearing at you and just really 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 just being reckless uh, throughout your whole life uh, you know uh, you can still uh, you know pull from that goodness that perseverance side that uh, uh, you can make it side and make it through maybe it will take two months maybe it'll take one month maybe it'll take 50 uh, 50 minutes maybe it'll take two years but you're worth it humanity you're worth having uh, an and absolute peace and happiness. You're worth whatever it takes. You're worth whatever time it takes. Uh, yesterday, when I tell you, I had a challenge, humanity. It was more than an ocean. Uh, the old lady fell yesterday. And... Um, 
I had to literally lay. Uh, I didn't see it coming. Remember when I said, you know, you can have challenges that you don't see coming. So I'm already on a cane. And so can you know, can you imagine uh, I fell and I had to lay there. I had to lay there for maybe about 15 or 20 minutes, not because I didn't have assistance. I had my loved one and, you know, they were pulling on me. Uh, uh, you know, she was pulling on me and, and I just couldn't. And uh, sometimes, uh, humanity, you have to reassess your situation. You have to uh, uh, strategize a new way. You have to adjust. You have, and, and unfortunately, some things we really do, we have to accept until we can uh, uh, turn it around. So there are a lot of variables that go into, uh, you know, uh, making it through and uh, sustaining ourselves uh, and just doing life. So whatever you have to do, sight and sound, uh, 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 let it be that uh, the acknowledgement of your already winning capacity that you're still standing, let that be at least 70%, 90%, or even 100% of the fact that the possibility of you making it on the other side or uh, uh, finally making it home, because you know, like I told you, man, a lot of your brothers and sisters are the side of you, behind you, in front of you, you know, we have to take the long way home. And it's like, wow, you know, we're watching everybody else. They're speeding past us and they're taking shortcuts. And we know with uh, the struggles and the uh, uncertainties, uh, you know, that it's just not that way. So yeah, you may, there may be some pebbles in the road, kick them out of the way. There may be some boulders that uh, are in the way, pick them up. So whatever you have to do, uh, humanity, kick it out of the way, pick it up, make adjustments in your mind, do whatever you have to do to keep going and never never stop and never quit. Okay, you man, hey, with that being said, I should give you the uh, tree report. I've been looking at it all day now. I'm just joking. I wouldn't do you like that. Take care of yourself, humanity. Bye-bye.